Hey, this is AJ Donahue from Drum Magazine. I'm here with Felix De Luna from D Drum, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the new Max series. The new Max series. Basically, last year we did the anniversary kit, which was um, a limited edition kit in a red sparkle fade, sort of in some of our greatest hit sizes. It was 10, 12, 14, 16 with a 20 by 22 inch kick drum. It was a red sparkle to black burst. We did 50 of those. Yeah. We sold out immediately, and seriously, com no spin. We sold off. We sold out immediately, and they've actually made their way to end users as well. So, it's a really, it was a really popular kit. So we decided, you know, let's let's see if lightning can strike twice. Yeah. We're doing a new limited version, which is the purple sparkle, and the purple sparkle will also be limited to 50 pieces, uh, bullet bullet lugs, uh, fixed pitch mounting system, reso lifts, just like the last one. They'll be limited. With, they'll be numbered with um, certificates. So it's same basic idea, another 50 limited, and we'll see you know, where it goes from there. We're hoping, it's been, there's been a lot, of, uh, a lot of positive feedback on this kit this year, so, yeah. and the sound of the drums in general from the anniversary kit, so we wanted to kind of keep the party going. So you mentioned it's, it's maple and alder shells? Maple and alder, correct. We do two plies of maple on the outside, four plies of maple, or sorry, of alder on the inside, unless it's a bass drum or snare, in which case that's six plies of alder and two plies of maple. The idea was initially that we needed to be able to finish alder because alder is a very porous wood. It's kind of like mahogany. You know with mahogany you're limited as to what you can paint on mahogany. It's right. because the mahogany has a tendency to suck up the, the, the paint quite a bit. Right. So the maple made it easier for us to finish it with a, with a cool sparkle lacquer, only to find out that it actually made the drums sound really good too because you know alder as a, as a rule is generally sort of a mid-rangey, low end sounding kind of wood. There's a lot of lows and a lot of mid-range. It's not a lot of attack. Okay. It's a really very satisfying drum sound. The maple added a little bit of top end and added a little bit of sustain because it's a harder wood. Sure. So marrying the two together, you end up getting something that was better than both. Sure. You know, you get a, a maple drum that doesn't have a wonk on the end of it. You get an alder drum that's got a nice little top end to it. Yeah. So we wanted to not only offer another limited version, but we're actually going to be offering a full line of Max Series drums in two standard colors, more to be announced as the, the line progresses. Sure. So what made you guys go with Purple Sparkle? Well, we wanted it to stand out. We did the red last year, which is kind of sort of D-Drum's de facto colors. Red and black has always been our thing, yeah. ever since back in the Clavia days. Yeah. And we wanted to kind of pay homage to that you know, in order to, uh, to celebrate that 10th anniversary. When it came back time around, we are like, well, what's more ostentatious than, <laughs> than Red Sparkle? Purple Sparkle. Yeah. Plus, we found that across the board, it's been very universally accepted by a lot of people. Sure. A, a lot of people have commented on the, on the way this sparkle. We actually did a little bit of a silver flake in there, too, to make the purple pop a little bit better. Yeah. So it's, it's been universally accepted. I, dare I say, men and women, okay. both, both liking the yeah. kit quite a bit. So... It's had probably some of the most universal appeal of any color we've done. Yeah. And so this is a limited version, but you guys also have a production model available. Is that right? Correct. So for 2016, we're going to be introducing the Max Series. The Max Series is going to come in a gloss black or a satin natural. The satin natural, I think, is going to be the sleeper because satin natural with black nickel hardware. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of people doing that. looks really good. Yeah. So... It's the same shell configuration. You're gonna have the, the maple and the alder, four plies of, of alder, two plies of maple, bass drum, six plies of alder, two plies of maple, and then we'll offer, be offering two sizes of snare drum, same configuration. Five and a half by four, five by 14 and six and a half by 14. And the, the, both in the two colors. Sure. The, the kits will come in a core kit, 12, 16, 22, or 12, 16, 24. At that point, the sky's the limit. You wanna add drums to the, to the mix, we're gonna have add-ons available eight through 18, as they say. Yeah. Uh, so we'll have eight inch, eight inch toms, 10 inch toms, 13 inch toms, and 14 inch floor toms and 18 inch floor toms, as well as additional kick drums. So you can turn it into your you know, double bass Carmine Ap Apice uh, monster if you want to, sure. or leave it as a four piece, which a lot of people will do. Sure. Yeah. And you also mentioned uh, you guys always prefer deeper kick drums. What it is, about, is it about that size? I wouldn't say we pre it's preferred is not really the right word. We jumped in on the, into the market when that was the most popular thing on the planet. There were a sure. lot of other other companies that were custom companies that were doing that. That we, for better, you know, for lack of a better term, we kind of jumped on what they were doing, made an overseas version of it, and cleaned up. We did really well with that stuff. Yeah. Plus, there was always that contingent of drummer out there that wants their drum to look a certain way. You know, they're. Right. 
And I think that as you get older, because I usually associate that with a younger drummer, as you get older, you start to realize that there's better sounds the more you bring it in. So we're trying to be to skirt that line. For instance, oh. we're only doing the 20 by 22 in the limited. Okay. This is going to be 18 by 22. Okay. But the 24 is going to be 14 by 24. Oh, that's great. Because we're trying to optimize those diameters as best we can. So is there any plan to introduce 22s in shorter depths? Possibly. Again, it's going to depend on where, where the wind blows. You know, Again, we, we have to skirt the line because we are known for a certain thing, but I don't only want to be known for a certain thing. I want us to be known for other things as well. Sure. And I, at the end of the day, I want to make good drums. That's, that's all. When I get up in the morning, that's what I think about. I want to make good drums. I want people to enjoy playing them. So we're, we've, we've gone in one direction. This is not a reversal. This is simply an addition. So that's why we're offering the dip, different depths now. That's great, and I think we're going to hear a little uh, demo now. Fantastic. All right. Hey, this is AJ Donahue from Drum. I'm back with Felix De Luna from D-Drum, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the Refl Reflex Rally Sport kit. All right, the Reflex Rally Sport. Kind of along the same lines of trying to give the people what they want, we spent a lot of time researching what drummers seem to be playing whenever, you know, we, I'm, I'm on social media, I'm on Twitter. A lot of our guys would buy, a lot of our customers would buy maybe a five-piece Reflex and then immediately remove a tom. Yeah. And then they would take this out on the gig because we've all been on gigs. Sure. Unless we're playing in, a, in an Iron Maiden tribute band, we're not bringing that many drums with us. Yeah. So most of us are having to hold court over a, a smaller drum set. It's smaller venues now. Sure. You know, 